Hey traders, Kill Stokes here once again, and welcome to this week's weekend review. Not really a lot on the table this week. I do have one one trade set up I want to go over. We encountered it during the live room this weekend or this week on Aussie Dollar, and it was a interesting scenario. We actually had two signals, and well, I'll I'll go over it a little later. Um, other than that, we had a, a very good week, a very good start to the new year. We had about a hundred pips uh, on Thursday. And if you haven't already, I did a video this Thursday called, I think, Keep Your Trading Sharp. I'll, I'll throw the link underneath here. But it talked about the, the two trades we took and the advanced targets that we shot for that eventually were hit. And a little insight on why I decided to, to go for advanced targets on these two particular trades. Now, before I get into our market analysis, I want to talk about an article I wrote. And I've been getting really good feedback. Um, the title is, is called Try Something New This Year, and it's it's really a, a great article to read before kicking off your trading uh, year. And it, 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 I won't go into details about it, but it deals with basically a few tips that I basically, I, I guaranteed will, will turn around your trading if you follow them uh, through thick and thin. And I'll, again, I'll throw the link of uh, that underneath the video as well. But I've been getting some really good feedback and just want to share some of the, some of the, the comments I've been getting. Said, I like to respect all you do, Akil. This article is right on the money, as it's impossible not to agree with any of it. Thank you, Akil, for keeping in touch with your excellent insights. Thank you for all of your help and information. I've learned so much from you all, uh, so much from all of you. I didn't know how much I didn't know. Thanks again. I will follow you forever. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, what I liked the most was, and there's a quote from the article, if you focus on not making the same mistake more than once, you run out of mistakes to make. Uh, unquote. This makes correcting or improving your trading uh, certainly seem like it is infinite and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel if you are willing to put forth effort. And then finally, I'll end with this last one. Uh, thank you for another great post to kill. You've just begun the year as you've ended, sharing with all of us your incredible knowledge, not only regarding trading, but rather how we can implement a confident attitude about ourselves by improving small things and eliminating bad habits in our life every single day. And also the importance of taking responsibility for our own actions. Where all these small changes together will allow us to step forward into the zone of being consistently successful traders. Very well said. And again, this was an article I worked really hard in it. Wasn't, wasn't really quite sure what the response would be. And I'm just... I'm delighted that a lot of the traders out there are enjoying it and more so that I'm able to share something that is going to help traders turn their career around. And, you know, the the topic dealt with basically the, the turning point in my trading career, what made me go from middle of the road, unprofitable trader, basically, um, to a, a very successful trader. So I'm, I'm glad that you guys are taking it in. Now to look at some charts. Here's what we had today in the live room. If we're looking at Aussie dollar here, 240 chart. And first of all, there's a lot going on here. Obviously, there was a we had a, a few patterns. There's a bigger bat pattern we talked about before the year ended, but we had a cipher um, in the middle of the bat pattern going into another possible Gartley. But we'll get we'll get rid of all that for a second and talk about the section that we talked about in the room. And it's this this area right here. As you can see, the market came into this area and turned around. Now, if we go down to a smaller time frame, let's say 60-minute chart, we identified this area in the live room, knew it was a, a, good, a good place for a potential short. The question is, where was the right spot to get involved? And at first glance, if, if we go back to and imagine it in real time, here's what we had. Uh, if I can find this thing. Oh, go back. There we go. We had a, a double top right here. And if we bring some fibs, I forget all we had in here, but we had a 618 there as well. Double top, 618 retracement, RSI divergence. You can see the RSI um, is showing bearish divergence. Looks like a good place to enter. And what we asked ourselves in the room is, is this the best place? And I like to see a lot of things line up, not just a Fibonacci, um, not just an ABCD pattern. I like to see, and, and it goes back to the CTS uh CTS scoring system combined technical scoring system but what we decided to do in the room or what I decided to focus on I told the traders that I would much rather see price action come up the structure instead of just resting here at the 618 now even though we have a double top this was the area that I felt 
um, would be safer. And we do have some Fib Confluence up there as well. A small one, 707. Um, but mainly this structure level. And this makes it sort of a 2618 type trade opportunity or a, um, a structure based trade. And as you can see, as we scroll on the market, the market pushed up or, or pushed down. And again, this is the place where a lot of traders get nervous. A lot of traders say, oh man, I, I knew I should have took that original double top. Look, the market just put in a, a big red candle. What it went down, a, a 30 pip candle. Uh, let, let me get it now. And now not only do you get in a trade that you shouldn't have gotten in the first place, but now you get into it late, exposing yourself to more risk. But if you wait, 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 you see the market pushes up, you're probably stopped out around this area right here. Um, if you're using, a, uh, unless you're using a, a full two ATR stop, you're probably stopped out around this area. And you can see the market comes back down before spiking back up again. There we go. And if we go out to a higher time frame where we, we were originally watching this, let's say the 120 or the two hour chart, you'll see that the market now puts in a double top boom boom at our Fibonacci uh, ratio and at our structure level right here which again was the key level I was watching because we had a double top here spiked below we expect the market to come back up and test that structure level now we have a double top here we still have our RSI divergence you know we never broke the high of our um, initial bar right here our, our initial top and what happens market falls right over and it, it's a lot easier to, to when we saw this in real time but basically you know it, it deals with making the decision of where is the best case to, to to enter and we see that a lot when we get major and minor structure levels we get a perfectly good signal say right here the market comes up to here we get a perfectly good signal but making the decision to, to pass on that and really know where the market wants to go and at the end of the day I always fall back to structure I'll take structure over fibs all day now, I love to create a, a little matrix or I love to look for confluence between different Fibonacci points, whether it be extension, retracement, inversion, and structure. But if I, if I had to choose one, I'm going with structure. And, and this is a perfect example of, well, a case where that structure paid off and could have stopped you out of a, a losing trade. So that's about it for this week. Again, um, go back and watch the the keep your trading sharp video if you didn't see that already that's the video where we really look and flash back to uh, one of our trading days in the live room and other than that I'll see you next week make sure you check out the new site um, get a lot of good reviews on that as well and uh, good luck with the start of your trading here take care traders